everybody remembers Vegas, right? right? For those of you that don't remember four years back, it was the largest mass execution done on American soil since, what, the... Literally ever. The first Civil War. It is the, it's, to date, it is the largest mass shooting on this country's soil that has ever happened. Now, let's look. The, during the Civil War, there was a lot of mass Oh, shooting. I'm sure. But, but the, the, like, according to their yeah, BS yeah. metric of yeah, mass yeah. shooting. In my, modern uh, times, yes. Yeah. My, okay. my buddy Tom would also add a few uh, points to this uh, discussion as well, too. Fringe conspiracy, but Tom's a good guy. You know the yeah, time no, I'm talking guy, about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to get into some of the facts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, they'll be called a conspiracy theory by people who are idiots mm -hmm. and, and don't bother to ask questions like, you know, if this is the largest, ma largest mass shooting mm -hmm. that's ever happened on our country's soil, and this is now four years old, and we still don't know what happened, why, Ooh. who all was involved, and the media doesn't seem to care... Yeah, who, what, why, when, They probably don't want you asking those questions. Uh, yeah. Just also remember, you you have a slew, an army of blue-haired trigger monkeys that are going to try to debunk everything you say. I don't yeah, care. F*** them. I don't yeah. give a f*** them in the asshole with That's a fine. big rubber dick. <clears throat> Listen, it, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. We have some of the footage here. Let's do it. All right, so you're a grunt. Let, you tune your ears to this. Yeah. Uh, oh, hang on. Switch this over. Here. Nah, I'm not fucking. Anything. I think fix this up here. There we go. Yeah, I, I suppose a disclaimer. It, it's not really disturbing footage. It's literally just sound effects and people panicking. I'm just listening for the sounds. There's two. Yeah, that's multiple guns. That's multiple gun. Fire, that's yes. talking machine guns. Yeah. So what? What he's saying is that you're having a coordination of fire. Yeah. Now remember, this is supposed to be a lone gunman, and he was supposed to be a far right extremist, despite the fact that virtually every single person who died that day was basically a verifiable yeah. Trump supporter. Yes. But, uh, no weapon can cyclic that fast unless it's a no, much more powerful power, uh, platform. We're talking minigun. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's not a minigun. That, well, it's that, not a minigun. No, it's not what I'm saying. It's just that what you said earlier, that it's that's coordinated gunfire. Yes, it's talking guns. Talking yep. guns. There's one here specifically. We'll bring it up here. Now, I'm going to pause this See, here. I don't understand why they shut those f***ing lights off. I don't know. God damn it. Have you... Nothing like, Pull this nothing like over, illuminating the kill box. Yeah. <laughs> roughly about the 150 mark. All right, yeah. Now, there, there are people who, after this, are like, well, it's what you're hearing is just an echo. No. It's not actually two guns firing at the same time. Listen to this, and then tell me when you think those people are full of sh**. <laughs> Wait for it. That's a meat. That's a five five six. The other one was a thirty cal. See how slow it's firing? Look, echoes well, like, don't oh, slow yeah, down. Yeah, the, literally, there's nothing, and then you hear the guns start to fire, and then the other one overlaps right on top of it. Oh, it's just an echo, and yet it's you can clearly the, tell that it's gotta, physically closer you have to larger, the microphone. No, no, but you have, you have two different tempos. The thirty cal that machine too, guns yeah. fires a little bit slower than the five five six machine gun. Yeah. Yep. Those things fire f***ing fast. Yeah. The cyclic rates on a 249, you can adjust as well as... I'm, I, it's been a long time since I got to... When I was a saw platform. gunner, I used to turn my shit up to Vulcan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. And, and of course, you know, that there's... People have actually done forensic analysis of this. Let's take a look. Yeah. We have confirmation through this acoustic forensic analysis method that there is a shooter at 425, 450 yards. Shooter number two appears throughout the audio files, and shooter number two has a lag time of 0 0.374 seconds. 0 0.374 is between here and here, so it's between 200 and 300 yards. So we have a second shooter. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I called it from the very beginning as soon as yeah. I heard it. I, I did the same thing. As soon as, soon as I heard that, that second video mm -hmm. where you can clearly hear something that's much farther off in the distance and then something 
far closer with a totally different tempo coming in right over top of it. Like, there's no way in hell that's an echo. And you have to be f***ing retarded to actually say that and expect people to take you seriously. Yep. It's uh, hilarious. It's and then, bullshit. of course, like I lone gunman, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's just totally forget about this. Can you tell us anything more about them, what they look like? Why were they escorted out? Were they escorted out because you were feeling uncomfortable about what they said? Yes, because she had been messing with a lady in front of her and telling her that she was going to die, that we we're all going to die. So they escorted her out to make her stop messing around with all the other people in front of them, but none of us knew that it was going to be serious. The real deal. Yep. yep. Yeah, t- totally lone gunman. Yeah, so we don't need to ask any more questions, right? Oh, my gosh. Just, just like we didn't need to ask questions about Benghazi. We don't need to ask questions about this. The narrative is whatever we tell you it is. Yeah, f*** that. Listen, uh, 33 years, all right, 20-some-odd years in the infantry and special ops, I've fired all kinds of shit. I've done ambushes. I've been at, uh, you know, a movement of contacts. Um, you know, all, I mean... You know, I've done the I've done the talking machine guns between you know and the, close air support. Yeah, yeah. The, okay. Those are two different weapons. Yep. Close. Two different cadences. Close air support's a bit more intense, and but you're right. You can clearly hear the distinctive sounds of two different weapon systems engaging in the zone. Lights are on. Nothing like illuminating the target. You're going to see the rats leaving the seeking ship, and it's just fish in a barrel at that point. Yep. Now. Naturally, acoustics may be different. Some say they were at an elevated position, but this was clearly on the ground. Yep. This but, was on the ground. Yeah. Even if you even if you do buy that the you know um, the echo thing. No. It doesn't change the tempo. We've both There's, been in ur- urban yeah. environments. We've both have. Yeah. We know what got we the zip, the buzz, and the cyclic rates of are different. Mm-hmm. Yes. And they're like, oh, he had a bump trigger or bump stock uh, on some M16. Get the f*** out of here. It's just it's Only not, somebody who's never was, fired a gun would say that. That was, well, uh, listen, I've, I've fired the bump stocks. They're pretty, they're damn cool. Mm-hmm. I got it. And, and I, we had uh, the 90-round magazine. I couldn't get through the whole magazine on, like, one pull. Yeah. You had to, like, you had to, you know, get it just right for it to work. Yep. Yeah. Okay, when you what you heard there, these long strings of fire. That's that's a belt-fed machine gun. That's now, the only way you can get that to happen. If you want to go back through it and time the rate, right fire of burst. You know, six to nine round burst, six to nine round that's, burst. That's military. Yeah. Yes. Well, some of them are were buzz aways, but yeah, I got gotcha. you. Regardless, there was discipline there. Yes. Yeah. Well, another thing too, they said, okay, it's just one guy. He's only firing from one hotel room at the Mandalay Bay. What did he John okay. Wayne it from the hip with but two? There's a photo systems? that most people have completely forgotten about that shows not one, but what appears to be four different hotel rooms with windows shot out that are at least ten stories up. Wow. <laughs> We're I just gonna I, totally forget about that. I, I didn't hear about that. And the media is not going to show you this because they sure as hell didn't. This article is now over three years old, and not a single reporting agency that I was able to find outside of this reported on it. Oh, f- FBI insiders blow whistle on massive Las Vegas cover up. Agents told not to investigate key evidence, including ISIS terror link to Mandalay Bay massacre. Wow. Let's just go through the bullet points because they are frightening. When FBI brass was provided with forensic evidence of multiple gunmen, they told agents to stand down and focus on paddock only. Even a key internal audio captured by a hotel guest of multiple rifles firing from the Mandalay Bay went ignored and covered up. Correct. That's one. FBI brass was provided the names of persons of interest who likely assisted paddock. Agents were instructed not to interview the individuals. The one would-be target was never pursued, despite pleadings from intelligence officials and agents that he was possibly the second shooter. Wow. The FBI uncovered specific evidence showing that Paddock was anti-Trump and had an affiliation with Antifa, though it was never divulged to the public and agents did not follow such leads per orders of their superiors. Wow. 
when FBI brass was given evidence that the shooting was possibly linked to Antifa radicals working with an ISIS-linked terror faction, including the full identities of some of the suspects with ties to both radical groups at and at or near Mandalay Bay the night of the shooting, agents were never instructed to follow up on the investigation and I, pursue the suspects. I would like to get my hands on that list. Me too. Yeah. When intelligence officials approached the FBI and LVMPD with external evidence that Paddock was only one member of an organized terror cell, which included as many as five gunmen who planned to fire from the Mandalay Bay suite, his autopsy report only details a single bullet to the head. Oh no, FBI sources say Paddock suffered two gunshots, but his autopsy report only details a single bullet to the head. FBI sources maintain Paddock's autopsy was doctored and is a fraud. Just like Epstein's. Yes. <laughs> when an ISIS-linked businessman from Turkey, I think his name was Kringleberg Fattyback, <laughs> was pinpointed in the investigation and found to be residing near Las Vegas at the time of the shooting, FBI agents were not instructed to follow up and pursue intelligence leads showing possible links to the massacre. FBI and intelligence officials believe Paddock and Associates chose to strike the Las Vegas country music concert with over 22,000 people because they supported President Trump. FBI agents said they were instructed to keep that key motive quiet. Shocker. You know what? I, I don't think I couldn't do it. I could not in good faith follow that order. No. If, if they're like, you don't investigate that, I'll be like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. And I would keep doing it. They'd have to fire me. Yeah. See, this is an actual whistleblower, not the fake Facebook whistleblower. Yeah, I know. Which is clearly a, a glowy psyop. Somebody with a... Uh, with a moral base and some with ethics. I couldn't do it. I could not in good conscience. <sighs> There's three more, dude. Uh, let's do it, yeah. All right. When MGM refused to share CCTV footage from Mandalay Bay, FBI agents were threatened by superiors that any whistleblowers divulging such revelations to the media would lose their jobs. The FBI still has never been provided all the camera footage from the Mandalay Bay, FBI agents said. Wow. When agents and when FBI and Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms agents informed FBI bosses that Paddock didn't start buying dozens of guns until after Trump's election, they were told to keep that fact quiet and shrouded. Might have something to do with the fact that they were illegally investigating a sitting president. Mm -hmm. When FBI agents followed up on an ABC News report that Paddock wired $100,000 to the Philippines shortly before the rampage, they confirmed the report was untrue. Instead of disputing it, FBI bosses embraced the false story, saying it helped build the narrative the Bureau was constructing about Paddock. FBI agents believe the story was planted with ABC by their superiors. Wouldn't surprise me. Holy smoke and Joe Frazier. Yeah, I mean, this is horse shit. You know, yeah. where are the fucking lawsuits against the fucking Mandalay Bay? Look, if the if, FBI. If I had a family member that died in this fucking kerfuffle, I would not settle. I would fucking sue the fucking shit out of them. Damn right. Because when you settle, you have to sign, you know, all these secrecy agreements. You take the money, you shut your mouth. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't yeah. do it. As always, you are welcome to check these sources for yourself. Make up your own mind. There will be a complete list with archived sources on redonculus.com after the stream. And we have over 1,100 people watching this right now. Yeah, it's wow! Quite, it's quite unfortunate that people can't make up their own minds because they're too lazy to do their own research. Okay. You're damn right. It, I'm going to be honest with you. People thought for themselves a lot more when you had to go to the goddamn library to research subjects. Now that you have one of these... You have the Library of Congress at your fingertips, yeah. and people are lazier and, I wouldn't say stupider, but unwise and have no common sense than ever. Watch Grunt Speak Live Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern and bring the strong stuff. Now is not the time for beer. That comes later. <laughs>